All right, welcome back. And we just left off. We got uh, just yeah. jumped. Yeah, done. Then, then what we wanted to do, we, we uh, just yeah. Yeah, done. So anyway, while they were off blowing it, we ran into some complications of our own. I wonder what happened to her. Loading. Fiona. See what happens. will be okay I'm sure they'll figure something out probably but um, the Badlands are practically a graveyard oh, they'll be all right in the heat with the skags I'm not so sure they probably called for help and had someone pick them up yeah probably This is talk to you, FTR, and by the way, like we're this. continuing we out. If we you know the side of the story. See what happened to them. I hope he'll fix it. We're not exactly rolling in cash right now. How are you gonna get him to do it? I mean, I'm assuming it's not exactly a charity. And we definitely cannot get out of here if we don't get this fixed. He's a mark, just like any other, and every mark has their angle. Find the angle and they'll do whatever you want. I guess that's true. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. Stay here. I'll do the talking. Wouldn't have it any other way. Um. Every mechanic have to be gross. Scooter's a fan of the races. Good to know. That race was insane. Rest in peace, Bossanova. Scooter must have connections at Dalcorp. Leaving me out like this. I almost feel sorry for the poor sap. Almost. Alright, uh, carry the three to five by twelve. Oh, uh, what the hell, man? I gotta cut down my wrench budget. Uh... Oh, hey, man! Welcome to Scooter's Catch a Ride! What can we do for you Scooter. today? Uh, Sorry if I seem a little dis distracted. Uh, hopefully, handing this place over to the new proprietor today, and I gotta get all these numbers and stuff in order. No, it's a lot. I don't know if you know this, but the transition from small business owner to franchise owner is surprisingly difficult. A new proprietor? Yeah, man, I got too many locations now. I can't work all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping to hand this old girl off to Jenny Springs. You know her? She used to fix buggies and crap on the moon, so I figured it'd be like riding a bike for her. Figuratively speaking, I don't really do bikes, <laughs> you know. Holy crap! I knew I recognized this rig from somewhere. You were in the latest Boston Over Death Rally. Oh, I was there, man! Did you see me? I was, I was waving. You were a badass! Oh, <laughs> yep, got me. 
That thing's beat up to hell and back, man. I can fix it, but it's probably gonna run you about 2,500 cold. 2,500? Uh, that's a little out of my price range. Not to be implied or nothing, but you must have won a buttload of money from that race, right? Where did it all go? Oh, cuz my cousin, right? He said that his sister's friend's neighbor's husband won one of them races one time and the cats kept them fed for weeks. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's inappropriate to ask somebody about their money? Uh, I mean, I guess. Except for usually when I'm doing business with someone, I like to ask about how said business is gonna get paid for. Well, tell me this. You think you could ever see yourself racing again? Let me pitch you something, and it might be crazy, but if you keep racing, I would love to endorse you as a sponsor. What do you say? Yeah. It'll be great, maybe like a billboard, a couple commercials, product placement. You'd be huge. Tell you what, throw in an extra thousand bucks and you've got yourself a deal. Thousand? Wow, man, that's kind of a hard bargain, don't you think? Call it a signing bonus. Ah. Uh. I don't know, man. That kind of thing makes me a little uncomfortable. Say it once for me, man, you know? The catchphrase? Catch a ride! You know it. Come on. Don't be shy. I'm your sponsor now. Gotta hear how you do the catchphrase. Catch a ride! Hmm. Okay, okay. A thousand bucks. It's yours, but you're gonna have to win, like... A crap load of races, all right? <laughs> I'm made of money, man. I'm thinking that we put a big old ad on your van, you know, like maybe a picture of me with like, catch a ride up above it, you know, all cool, right? I'm looking all badass you to put some badass pictures of you with your car and your hat and all that. Hi, Scooter, right? Everything going okay? <laughs> I was, uh, I was just gonna, you know, go grab the paperwork, let me take care of that. Okay, bye. Alright, man, here's my standard endorsement contract. Don't mind the sub clauses about uh, explosions and whatnot. I might have copied it from Torg. Anyway, I figure as long as I'm in there and you're yeah, doing it for free, Maybe you want to splurge and get some of the special packages. I got some good ones. And don't tell me you're broke because I know you got that extra thousand I just gave you. I know it's a big decision. You go ahead and take your time. A lot of good choices, I know, I know. Real classy ones too. Sometimes I just stand here and stare at them, you know? I know how it is. That one would look badass as hell, man. Take it from me, the badass from hell. Man, to be you right now, facing all the impossibilities, right for the take. Can you taste the potential? It's, uh, it's kind of like cinnamon. What the hell? Let's go for the whole nine yards. Come on in, man. We'll get her all hooked up and get to work. That's my daughter in the background over here. Oh, crap. This doesn't look good. Hey, fellas. What can I do you for? Oh, no. I just hope that little deal you two struck is enough to get him to look the other way. Scooter won't turn us in. You don't know that. We don't even know what the reward is this time. You just gotta have some faith, Sasha. Though maybe pressing him for that extra cash wasn't the greatest idea. Oh, Scooter. Out of teach him. Hope you ladies weren't too scared. Just doing my duty to keep ruffians the crap out of my garage. 
I'm a real protector type. Thanks. Hi, hey, man, it was no big deal. Proper man ain't gotta turn in two nice seeming ladies. You might be murderers or some crap, but you ain't tried to murder me yet. <laughs> but seriously, please don't Scooter. try to murder me. Seems like there's some bad men looking for you too, though. You got a place to lay low while I'm getting your ride all fixed up? It's too risky. I think we should stay put. I say we hit the safe house. It'll have everything we need. Money, gear, new IDs. I remember when Felix first showed us that place. <laughs> Filthy rat hole. Felix is gone, but that stuff should still all be there. And maybe we can get some answers. Yeah, I think we can figure something out. Thanks, Scoot. Anytime. And I really mean that. I'm gonna go get started, okay? Yeah, he must be like a mechanic whiz. Interesting. Interesting.